What's up? It's my studio. Check it out. It's a Stein. Not finished making. There's a little mug. Got a bowl. Some more little mugs. Now I just wanted to show you a little bit how I need this clay here. And the main reason I'm showing you is because I did this working out the clay thing the other day. And I'm see if I can remember how to do it and then I can have it on film because I can't remember how to do it. So if I film it and I do it right, then I'll have it and I won't forget. So this is normal. So you normally do the thing. So I learned from Mr. Sahagian in high school. This is another way, it's called like this, sh I don't freaking know what it's called. You put it at an angle like this. Probably can't see it that well, but it makes this stupid freaking like shell. Maybe this is it actually. Ooh, maybe this is it. I don't think this is it. But, so the reason you do this guys, is to get all the air bubbles out of your clay. It's, it's not good and then when you fire, your work, uh, it can like explode. It's a big hunk of clay. So I'm gonna cut this into th three or four little sections and I'm trying to make like little mugs like, kind of like this size. Maybe a little bit bigger and then see if people like them. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna grab my wire cutter thing and I'm gonna cut it. Four little shit burgers. Then I'll make these into balls. Little balls. And then I'm gonna try to throw a couple mugs. Like this is even maybe a little too much clay. A lot of people like are very precise and like weigh out their clay. I don't do anything precisely. Nothing. One. Puts me in my zen. I have a very stressful life. My job is very demanding. A lot of you don't even know what I do. I'm a freelance barista. So yes, these are my four little balls. They're pretty similar to the same size. So you don't want these stupid little things right here. But whatever. See, so yeah, I'm gonna throw it on my wheel and hopefully make a couple of little mugs. See, these are mess ups. I get really mad when I mess up. I throw temper tantrums. Those ones I freaked out. See this chair back here? See how it's like bent like that? But I was sitting here and I was throwing stuff and I'm kind of messed up like that. Uh, and yeah, I kind of freaked out and I threw that chair in it. And I shouldn't. I shouldn't have gotten mad like that. Down here are this. This that stuff goes in the kiln. Which the kiln is right there. We have so much trash in this garage, and we're moving soon. So we need to clear all this stuff out. I'm gonna have a brain aneurysm. I'm gonna poop my pants. I'm gonna see if I can set this thing up and see if I can um, let you guys see me throw. So I wish. For the love of Mary, I could show you how I have this set up because it is so ghetto. If my wife saw it, she would murder me. So I'm gonna, my battery's about to die, so I'm gonna try to do this as fast as I can. So you get this. I freaking showed you how I made these balls last time or earlier. So what you like to do, some people like to clear this puppy off. I just don't care enough. Clear enough for me. So you wanna throw it on the middle as close as you can. Then I like to get my ring off. This is what I do, guys. Then I like to slam it down because sometimes it won't stick very well. I, you know, honestly, 
I'm really not that good at centering the clay. I've seen a lot of guys that work the clay up, kind of like I'm doing now. Work it up, and then push it back down. I can't really tell the difference. But, I don't know, man. I get this weird thing down here that's super uneven, and I swear my wheel's off balance. So yeah, what I do with that bottom part, see? Ooh, 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 go away. Ooh, 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 ooh! Don't like that. So see how this whole section here is center? It's just this little stupid little thing down here that it like, when I push down, or when I push to the side really hard, the clay like sneaks from the, what's this thing called? I don't know, I'm not very good with terms. Underneath my hand and it gets all uneven. So now what I like to do is I like to make a hole. Throw a little water in there and I push down. And most of the time I like to leave a good amount of room at the bottom because I like to make when I'm trimming it, I like to make a good foot. So one way of testing to see how deep you've gone. I don't know where I was because the stupid video stopped. How to find your bottom. You find, get your little poker tool, which is right here. Looks like this. You grab it, make sure it's clean, you poke down. And you stick your finger down there. And that's how thick I am. You know what I'm talking about. Pretty thick, so I can go down a little bit more. But it doesn't really matter because I like to have a lot of room. But I'll just go down a little bit. And then I like to pull it out a little bit. And you know, honestly, I don't even know why I do these things. Um, this is how I learn to throw, man. I just do it. A lot of people like to push up on the outside first and not even pinch. Just kind of get your shape. Yeah, that's smart. But I'm I'm just impatient. I like to do my pots kind of quick so I just, you know, get going on it. And this is where I start to pinch. And I'm kind of slowly, I think, starting to get some sort of style. Um... That's my own. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not. Maybe that's not true, but I kind of, I'll show you. I'll show you once I'm done throwing this one. Something kind of unique, maybe. I don't know. I'm trying to make these, these little mugs. These cute little mugs. I'm not trying to make them all the same. I can't make the same mug over and over again. I'm not that good. But why would you want to, unless like you're mass producing something? I, I don't find the desire, like, I like making each pot unique and different. And... So it's fun about it. Sorry, is my head getting in the way every time I pull? Uh, yeah, so... I think I'm just thin enough now. So each time I pull up, as you can see, it gets wider and thinner at the top, which you kind of want, once you get to the top, you're kind of, I think you're supposed to like, um, loosen up a little bit, because if it gets too loose, or thin at the top, you're dead. You're not dead, but, you know what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, you hear that? Um, okay, so... It's still thick, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make this design I've been doing. It's like super easy. I kinda did it on accident, and then I kinda liked the way it looked. So I kinda kept doing it, and I've done it with a lot of my mugs. Um, and I kinda dig it. I haven't really, I honestly just don't throw a lot, so. You kinda just make it uneven. Kind of looks cool. Now, obviously, I don't really like the top. Yeah, I don't even like the bottom. 
but if I can push this out more and keep on working out the bottom and make this weird kind of floppy design Dude, you guys, oh, that's so annoying. I do not like that noise. So I'm gonna keep on pushing it in. And guys, I really have a good chance of messing this mug up. I mean, I mess up probably like, I don't know, a lot of my mugs. So this one's like kind of not even that weird looking. I'm trying to get like, hopefully I can do a little bit more. That's kind of cool. I don't know. Um, what do you think? Let me know. So what I like best, man, I need some better regs. Um, so I made this one yesterday. It's kind of cool. These are kind of similar, you could say. Much smaller. Um, so I'm gonna trim this. Hopefully, it dried. It dried so fast. But as you can see in these ones, see how they kind of have that. That's just red clay. But how they have the um, this cool design. That's just me doing what I just did. Just I'm not even meaning to do it. Um, yes, yeah, so this one's kind of cool. This one hopefully will turn out kind of cool. Um, you got this adorable little mug. I messed up. Oh gosh. See? Yeah, I didn't think that was gonna work. I put a hole in it, and then I threw a piece of clay on the bottom, thinking it would hold. No, it, it didn't. Hold. Uh, you got this one. This one's kind of cool too. See, it's kind of got like the ripply, the ripply thing. I don't know. I kind of like it. Um, you got this one. I'm not crazy about this one, but see how it's got the, the cool. I don't even. It's probably called something. Oh, it's been here so long. There's spider webs. What do you guys think? What do you think it needs? Do you like the way it looks? I feel like it needs a little spazzazz. Let's just leave it. F it. So what I like to do here for the bottom, gotta get all this water out of here. What I do is I just tie a sponge to a stick and take that water out. Um, I feel like this is the most serious video I've ever made. And it's probably going to be like super boring, brah. But, who cares, right? Yeah, so I'll, I'll trim this up more tomorrow or whenever. Where's my sponge? Yeah, so, just kind of clean that up. Clean that dad up. There you go.